this. Yeah. I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win. I was taught at an early age by the farm that nature can be cruel. The weak don't survive. I often struggled to keep up with my brothers and sisters. I was always the smallest and often the sickest. And along with my shorter legs and less developed muscles, I had a spinal distortion making it uncomfortable to run. Marla, wait! Once I got stuck, and I was afraid I was going to be trapped there forever. In a large family, everyone has their jobs. Tradition is for the older kid to care for the next down. As the youngest of 10, I struggled to understand my role on our farm. Mom! Mom! Oh, duck eggs. What are you going to do with them? Keep them warm. With what? A chicken. Can I pick the chicken? You can pick the chicken. Uh, this one. You can do it. Just block her. Yeah. Good. I right, go for it. That's it. You got it. Mm. <laughs> got you, mister. All right. <laughs> All right. We got to go. Come on. Do I have to go? All right. I watched and learned about every animal on the farm. I noticed that each had their own personality quirks. In fact, I found they weren't that much different from people. I like Keto's egg warm. Okay, anyway, like, uh, what, how are we making it? Like, are we making squares well, or? Uh, I don't know. Anybody need more toes? Yeah, that actually sounds really good. Clean your dishes when you're done. Like, the road? I don't know. Come on, it'd be fun. It's a bunch. Yeah, but. Yeah, maybe. What else you got? I was born like a little while back. Oh, alright. It's still there. Do you want to come? Do you like kind of put a little bit inside of it? Yeah. I don't know. I know they're pretty old. Cut it. Where's Beth? I don't know. Beth. Beth, Mom, it's time. I called the first duckling Jack. He would end up being the smallest of the group. I would take special care of him. There you go, put him under the lamp. That's it. Gentle. I enjoyed the way the ducks drank water and nibbled feed like messy babies. 
I thought it would be perfect for them to play with my kittens, since they were about the same size. Maybe they'd be friends. But they all just stood around looking at each other like kids at an awkward middle school dance. You get in. You get in. You get in. You get in. As they played, I noticed that the smallest of the ducklings, my Jack, had a harder time walking than the rest of his brothers and sisters. I knew right away what Mother would tell me, that nature would take its course and Jack would eventually die. I didn't understand why life would be so cruel, why his family would leave him behind without hesitation. And maybe that's where things got personal. I thought of the fear I'd felt when I wasn't able to keep up. I worried constantly about being too slow or too weak, being the runt. I was sure Jack felt all these same things. I had seen ducks in our creek floating with ease. They seemed more natural on water than they were on land. I wanted to give this experience to him. I was eager to be the hero. And it appeared to be working. They were so happy. I thought maybe this was my role, helping the weak. But then Jack stopped breathing. Jack! I couldn't let him die. I had to try something. Are you coming back? Are you coming back? I'm waiting. I'm sorry. I was warned about what can happen when I love something and make it special, that it can be taken away. Do you know how to make cookies? I can help you. No, breakfast first. You guys, clean your dishes and we have to get going. Meet us in the garden when you're done, okay? I guess that Jack must have had water in his lungs, and my little experiment killed him after all. I know how hard his life would have been had he survived. In fact, he probably wouldn't have lasted long. I thought how unlucky this duckling must have been to be born with a withered leg. And I thought he was even more unlucky for having met me. This was the first time a creature under my care met their demise through my fault. His death fed my fears, but also my determination. If there was no one to care for the weak and unwanted animals, then I decided it was my job, my place in the family. I would never allow another careless, needless death. Bye, Jack not under my watch.